Hello, random YouTube people. Are you? Stick around. Hey, subscribe. So we're gonna talk about changing this Cat5e cable to be a phone line with RJ11 connectors on both ends. So what you are going to need for this project is some RJ11 connectors. I'll put a link to these in the description below. And then a crimping tool. This allows you to cut the phone line as well as crimp on those connectors onto a line. This one has the ability to do an RJ11 and a ethernet, which is RJ45. So. If you don't have any of these, I'll put a link in the description. I happen to get these from my dad, but I'll try to get you the same kind of thing. When installing the RJ11 connector, we're of course not gonna have the wires this long. They were just already this long, so I thought I'd describe this um, while they're easy to see. So you see in a Cat5e cable, you have um, green and a green and white line, an orange, orange and white, blue, blue and white, and brown, brown and white. And we're only going to be using the orange and the blue for our RJ11. So we can just clip those off, but I'm gonna to need to cut this line a little shorter so that we're not using as much wire, but we're only gonna use the orange and the blue for our RJ11. Well, I'm in a little bit of a tight space, but I'm gonna to try to get this on video for you. So on these crimper tools, you'll see that you have the ability to snap a line or cut it. And then you can also um, just strip off part of the wire as well. But for now, I'm going to run this into my, oh, like this, through this little hole here actually. And then just cut off this line here so we don't have all these extra wires. And so to do this next part, you can see on these crimper tools, I would cut right here. If I flip it around, this razor blade on the other side is a little bit longer. There's a little bit of a gap there, but then there's also this other section here, which just kind of scores the line around. So what we're going to do is put the wire in and cut it and kind of just go around the wire a little bit, and then we can pull it off and that should strip off a section of wire so we can get rid of the sheathing around it. So let's try to give that a shot, I'm trying to get it on video. All right, so I want to cut it a little bit. And you don't need a lot of length because going into those connectors, you don't need a lot of cord. So just about, let's say this long or so. Okay. And I'm going to cut and just kind of go around and spin this to try to score the edges on this wire a little bit. All right, that should be good. And then I can pull off and you can see that it cut off just a little bit and I have my wires exposed. You're gonna to wanna to go through and make sure that you didn't cut off any of these wires along the process. We don't need green, but we do want orange and blue. This is brown. So let's push the brown out of the way. When it gets smaller, it's a little harder to interact with, but eventually we're just gonna clip these right off and use just the green, and, or sorry, the blue and orange. So we're gonna just cut these extra cables off, we don't need them, and the green, just like that. So all that we have is orange and blue. Okay, so while we're down here, we're going to unstrand these so that they're not touching, like so. Harder than it looks when you're looking through the camera lens. So the sequence is going to be this, the white orange cable, then you have the solid blue. So let's bring the solid blue over here. And then it's going to go light blue. Let's put that on the other side. And then solid orange. So this is how it's going to be inserted into your RJ11 connector. Whoops, let's flip that around one more time. It should be, there you go. White, orange, solid blue, white, blue, and then orange. So grab your RJ11 four pin connector and we're going to do it this way. So if the little clip release here is on the bottom like that, then the orange, I'm tilting this up, you can see the solid orange would be on the right. So if we have it this way, 
and we have the clip facing us or facing up, the solid is going to be on the solid orange is going to be on the right, like this. Makes sense. And then you just start inserting them into the little pin holes. So I'm going to start to push this down into the connector. Okay, very hard to tell, I'm sure, on the video, but you can see that the wires run up and hit that little brass plate. And if you can see that, we've got our sequence in the correct order. Let's try the other side. There you go. So solid orange on my right side, um, white and orange on the left. And then I have the sequence as I explained, it's white and orange, solid blue, white and blue, and then solid orange. All right, next we grab our crimping tool. And you'll see that I have the ethernet port here and then the RJ11 one down here. We're working with an RJ11, so it's the smaller one. And you can see these little knockouts there are meant for the pin release to be in that direction. You'll only be able to put these in a certain way. You can see if I try to put it in this side, it's not letting me. But if I flip it over and put it in, of course, the knockout here for the pin should be on the bottom. Then it's going to let me push it in all the way. And of course you just click and crimp and you're good. It's all crimped on there. You can see it's um, pushed a little hole right there into the, de into the uh, connector. And we can even do a little tug test just to make sure. Yep, it's on there good. So next we need to go and do this same thing downstairs to the end of this phone line, and then I'm going to put one on the incoming phone line as well. There we go, family room. All products and things you see in this video, I will have links for in the description. We're just down in the basement where I had ran two Cat6 cables up from there. We also have our regular coax line and just a regular Cat5e cable that has a RJ11 or a phone jack on it. So I got this one on Amazon and I need to pop out this Cat6 for a Cat3 because this is gonna be the phone line. I have my RJ11 right here. So I had purchased before this one because I was only gonna have one Cat6 at the time, but this one has a Cat6 and a Cat3. And so I'm gonna take this Cat3 connection and replace this one with the Cat3 try to get this on video, you can see that it just kind of clips in there. So if I press down and rotate back, this just pops right on out. Then I have the replacement Cat3. Can't even see that on the video, can you? Cat3. And just insert it the same way. Can't do these ones added. There we go. Clips in. And now we have two Cat6, a Cat3, and a Coax. Let's get it hooked up. I have it all connected from the back. Let's put this faceplate back on. And there we are, faceplate back installed. I hope you liked this video, and if you made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate it. And I would love it if you would like and subscribe so I can bring you more content. And just remember, as always, if you didn't like my video, feel free to go make your own video.